Hi everybody, in today's video, I am super excited to share with you the new BB Rexa Simple Colors of Velvet Obsession Collection. So I've had some of these polishes for a while. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I found these on my vacation back in July. But then I decided I wanted uh, some more of the polishes that I didn't pick up. My sister's mother-in-law actually found those for me in a Walmart in her area, but it took me a while to get them from my sister. My sister thought she had lost them. Um, so by the time I got them from her, and then a lot of stuff was going on, so I didn't have time to swatch. So I finally swatched them. I am in love with this collection, you guys. I think it's amazing. I think all of these polishes are perfect for fall. I think some of these can be one coaters. There's great formulas. Um, I love them matte. I love them glossy. Um, I feel like this was like a really good collection for simple colors. I just wish that these polishes would be more easily available for everybody to find. I feel like they're so good and then it's like, why doesn't simple colors want our money? Like if you made these readily available, people would buy them. Why are they so hard? Why does it have to be like a hunt and like an Easter egg hunt? And a lot of times a like failed hunt for so many people. It's just frustrating. I don't understand it. Um, I wish they would change whatever they're doing and do better marketing. But that's besides the point. Um, let's talk about darkest polish in the collection first. This is called Dark Romance. And um, some of these have a BB's shade sticker on them. And basically all that means is that BB Rexa herself um, formulated this these shades. So there's a few in the collection. I'll mention those. This is one of BB's shades. I think she has a really good future in polish making. I liked all of her shades. I thought they were really nice. Um, so this is sort of like a dark brownish purple type color um there is a purple in the collection so let me show this to you guys side by side just so you can see how close you think they are or aren't um this definitely is a straight up purple and this looks a lot less purple next to it so just so you guys can kind of see that so this dark romance you guys oh my gosh this is so freaking pretty the formula on this was really good. This could possibly be a one coater on shorter nails. It did take me two coats. The only thing I can recommend with the formula of these polishes is, is do not over manipulate the polish. I'm a notorious over manipulator. If you over manipulate, you're gonna have a lot of problems getting the smooth look you want because of how fast they dry and the matte appearance. And you know, um, matte polishes, aren't as forgiving as ones you're going to put a top coat over because sometimes my polish application is like a hot mess and then I put the top coat on and it kind of like disguises that. When you want to wear something matte, you don't always have that luxury. I did notice that with a few of these polishes, um, but the formula is good. They dry fast, but not like so fast that they're hard to apply. Um, and usually with a matte polish, what I try and do is like the three stroke method, one stroke down the middle and one up each side and then kind of just let it sit. And then depending how it looks, um, go back in for the second coat, kind of same method. Uh, that's usually how I apply my matte polishes. Um, most of these were two coaters for me because my nails are longer, but um, I think with shorter nails, some of these could definitely be one coaters for sure. Then all of these polishes, I will show you matte and with a glossy top coat. I love them both ways, you guys. I just, I was really in love with these colors. So the formula on this was really, really nice. This again was dark romance. My first swatch picture will be two coats of it matte. And then my last swatch picture will be with one coat of glossy top coat. Um, really, really pretty shade. Next up, I'm going to show you the purple. This is called Twisted Obsession. Um, this is a straight up purple. It does have a very beautiful silver shimmer in it. This was another one that could be a one coater on short nails. My swatch picture is going to be two coats of it matte and then with one coat of glossy top coat when I show it to you glossy. I really did enjoy this color. I think it's perfect for fall. It's a beautiful matte finish. Um, really, really gorgeous polish. Next up, let's talk about the blue. This is called Gothic Ink. This one was so freaking beautiful, you guys. 
This was another one, could possibly be a one coater. I would put base coat on if you wear this polish because I do think it has the tendency to want to be a stainer. And also on removal, um, watch your cuticles because it did want to stain on removal even on the skin. So the formula on this was really good. Possible one coater again. Um, I did do two coats. My swatch picture is two coats of it matte and then one coat of glossy top coat on the glossy picture. I really love this one, you guys. I thought it was really pretty, really perfect for fall. Just a really gorgeous matte. Um, the green of the collection is called Empire Green. So this is one of the ones that was not in the store where I found it on my vacation. And this is one of the ones that made me decide to get the whole collection. I did want this polish. When my sister's mother-in-law was at the store, she's like, there's more. And I was like, oh, get it all for me so I can review it. Um, <laughs> so this color, oh, thank God she found it because it's so beautiful, you guys. I love the way it's sort of like a interesting shade of green. It's not like an emerald green. It's more of like a cross between a mossy green and emerald green. I really love this color. I think it's perfect for fall. I cannot wait to wear this as a full manicure. It's beautiful. Um, formula on this was a two coater and I feel like it does need two coats. Um, this one I did have a couple of issues and you will probably see it on my swatch picture where I had a little bit of a bump. Um, I went with it and you can even see it after I top coat it. So this is one that did want to dry a little bit faster than some of the other ones. Um, but it's not difficult at all. It was more like user error on my part. So pretty, you guys. Oh, so, so pretty. So my swatch picture will be two coats of it matte with one coat of glossy top coat on the glossy um, on the glossy swatch. I love this glossy too, you guys. Oh, This was one of my favorites of the whole collection, to be honest. Really, really pretty. Next up is Plum Lush. I loved this color, you guys. I'm a sucker for these type of like pinky purples. This was one that I really did enjoy glossy over matte. I think matte it is beautiful, but when I put the top coat on, oh my gosh, I was just like, this is amazing. This is for sure a solid two coater. I think even on short nails, you're gonna need two coats. Um, it went on easy. The coats are nice to apply. My swatch picture will be two coats with it matte and then one coat of glossy top coat when you see it glossy. I think you guys are going to love this one glossy. So, so pretty. Um, then there's a couple of browns in the collection and they're very different toned. This is more warm. This is more cool. Um, let's talk about the cool one first. So this one is called Steel Velours. Um, this was one I had originally skipped as well because I was kind of like, eh, how's this going to be on my skin tone? I don't know. I love this polish, you guys. I thought it was so pretty. It had a great formula, two coats to get opaque. I really liked it glossy as well. This polish glossy actually reminded me of Sinful's Prosecco. Um, so if you guys have the Prosecco, I think this has more shimmer and the shimmer is more gold, where in this, the shimmer is more silver. But once you top coat this, they are extremely similar. So if you have Prosecco, you may wanna try matte top coating it if you don't find these. Or if you do like this and you want to go for a matte version, um, they are extremely similar. Um, but this polish was really pretty. It did surprise me that I did enjoy it as much as I did. Two coats in my swatch pictures and then one coat of glossy top coat when you see it glossy. This is one that was in my store and I was just like, because I'm not into this type of like warmish brown. This polish is a really pretty color. It's very interesting. It's very unique. Um, I did not hate it on myself, but I did not love it on myself. So, so it is just kind of one of those things of like more of a personal preference. I think there is someone out there who looks amazing in this color, um, but for me, it's just not one of those colors that like complements me very well. 
had a good formula, two coats to get opaque. Um, so in my swatch picture will be two coats with one coat, a glossy top coat when you see it glossy. And um, last up is another one of BB's shades. This is called Glam and Roses. This is another one I skipped on because, again, I just was not sure about it on my skin tone. This is sort of like a warmer toned pink. Um, when I swatched it, I really loved the color. I still am not sure if I like it on my skin tone or not, but I'm going to wear it anyway because I think the color is so pretty. This has a great formula. One to two coats to get opaque, kind of depending on application. Um, it had great coverage. I love this one, Glossy, as well. I think there's some skin tones this is going to be amazing on. Um, just because the color is so, so good and so pretty, you guys. Um, this was another one of the BB shades. I forgot. I told you I was going to tell you, and then I didn't tell you. So this purple was a BB shade. This pink, um, this purple, again, is Twisted Obsession was a BB shade. Glam and Roses was a BB shade, and the Dark Romance were BB shades. The rest are not BB shades, um, but I feel like she did a really pretty job with these polishes. Um, so overall, um, so I think my favorites of this collection were for sure the green, um, the Glam and Roses, even though I don't think it looks completely amazing on me. I loved Dark Romance, you guys. Oh, so, so good. Ugh, I might as well pick the whole collection. And I loved um, the Plum Lush Glossy. I like it matte too, but I just really liked it glossy. So these four are like my top picks of the collection. They're all really good though, you guys. I really thought that this was a great collection for simple colors. I think they're perfect for fall. Um, I think if you're someone who likes matte polishes and these are available, you may wanna pick a couple up. Um, but you could always matte top coat stuff too. So matte polishes are like one of those weird things where if you have matte top coat, do you really need a matte polish? I don't know. I think it's a great cohesive fall collection from Simple Colors. I think for being mattes, the formulas were really nice. Nothing was super tricky like some of the mattes they've put out before or even like some of the China Glaze mattes that came out that people were like, oh my gosh, I can't even apply this. These did not have that issue. Um, so I am excited to try these in some manicures, see what kind of combinations I come up with. I already wore Dark Romance as part of a manicure and I really, really did enjoy it. I'll put my regular swatch picture plus um, how I paired it in one of the pictures so you guys can see that. Um, let me know if you found this collection anywhere and what you did pick up or if you do find it, what you are hoping to pick up. And to you guys who couldn't find these anywhere, I am sorry. I know if I wouldn't have been able to find them, I would have been pretty disappointed because I do really like them. I really hope that Simple Colors kind of sees that this is hurting them, the way that it's so selective before you can find the polishes. But I don't think they have because they're still doing it and it's been a while. And I know people are complaining because um, I'm on the Simply Polished Facebook page and I know people have like complained and and you know made the issues known and it's still going on so i'm not sure what the deal is or or why they think this is working or what but um that's it you guys if you guys like this video please make sure to click the like button down below if you have not subscribed to my channel please do thanks you guys for watching and i will see you all in the next video have a good night bye